A huge thanks goes to Mid East Antrim Council for their support with many of these projects. Welcome to Larne. This video has been put together by Larne Renovation Generation to demonstrate some of the art projects that we have been working on over the past few years. The Wolf by Don Aston. Near the village of Carnlough, the last wolf in Ireland was said to have been slit in 1710. The wolf also features in Game of Thrones. There's a story about the Spanish Armada. Once there was a man that always sailed and he had a chestnut in his pocket. One time the, a boat washed up on sea and he died. He got buried in a grave but his Spanish chestnut grew into a large tree and then it knocked over the grave. And it is now in a graveyard in Patrick's Church, Perrin Castle. This mural is of Richard Hayward. He was a singer, songwriter, actor, poet, historian, folklorist, filmmaker, musician, broadcaster and travel writer, you name it, he was up to his eyes in it. He was raised in Larne, went to school here and then went on to live in Belfast. And this beautiful mural, which overlooks Larne Main Street, uh, was created by the artist Dean Craig. The Maidens by Audrey Kyle. One of the local stories related to the Maidens is from the 1830s when the assistant keeper of one lighthouse fell in love with the daughter of the keeper of the other. He would visit his love by boat until the girl's father found out and he forbade them to meet. The story ends up with the couple eloping to Carl Fergus on the mainland. The Viking by Kim Montgomery. Vikings used Larne as a safe harbour for their longboats. They called the area Unfit Ford and gives a local name, Older Fleet. Today, archaeologists find Viking, Viking burial sites and artifacts in this area dated to that era. is a well-renowned fashion designer based in Lawn. She has created this piece inspired by Games of Thrones and Lawn's Ulster Scott heritage. This mural by Owen McGinn demonstrates how forward-looking Henry McNeil was. Not only did he own a small empire of hotels, but he also brought the first motor car to Ireland, which of course he drove through Larne. Hobson was born in Larne in 1917 and she went on to become one of the UK's leading actresses. Memorable roles were The Bride of Frankenstein in 1935 when she was only 17 and the role of Estella in Great Expectations in 1946. enjoyed this video a huge thank you goes to all our volunteers and our committee for everything that has been done to make Lauren a brighter place